Jezebel personalities are so self-centered that they do not even realize they have severely damaged the people who happen to be in their destructive path. And Aya personalities leave others feeling responsible for them as victims. Number six, do not mind being wrong if you'll approve of me versus refusing ever to be wrong. I love you if you see things my way. Passive people often have such a need for approval that they will take the blame for anything if they perceive it as winning them your acceptance. Aggressive people will love you until you disagree with them. Then that love becomes a destructive hatred for you and they will even go to the point of trying to destroy you and your reputation. Number seven. Fear of non-acceptance versus fear of rejection. While passive people will do almost anything to gain acceptance, aggressive people who are always insecure and often wounded people have a huge fear of rejection. Their actions come out of an attack mode because they are determined never to experience rejection again. Number eight, low self-esteem clothed in nice versus low self-esteem clothed in fear of more hurt. Passive people are usually nice people, too nice. They have low self-worth and try to gain ground by winning acceptance. Aggressive people also have low self-esteem, but usually they are bold, arrogant and pushy, all in an effort because of old wounds to avoid more hurt. Number nine, fear of what people think of me versus fear of people not agreeing with me. The fear of man totally binds most passive people. They spend amazing amounts of energy trying to please everyone, even those they do not know or those who could not care less about them. Aggressive individuals, on the other hand, are so insecure that they see anyone who chooses to disagree with them as the enemy. Filled with their own insecurities, aggressive people perceive any type of correction as more rejection. And these are some of the character traits of how the spirit works and these different spirits work in this relationship between Ahab and Jezebel. Whether it be in a marriage, whether it is in a business, whether, whether it is in a church or even in the parliament of a nation or whatever the case may be. This is the way these demon spirits work, to work up against each other and to work up each other and to try and pull down people, to tear apart marriages, to tear apart relationships between fathers and daughters and sons and mothers and whatever the case may be.